Alright folks, so I'm going to be getting into something uh, uh, real quick. Uh, it, it might make people mad, but I, I want to get this from a perspective of if you're going to talk about something, if you're going to say something, please talk about it in a smart manner. Because if you say it in such a stupid manner, no one is going to want to listen to you. And those who do agree with you will, will not say anything. They'll just say, yeah, I agree. And, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because that's essentially how politics has been playing a role in the United States in like 2016 and, and now 2017. Politics is all about, you know, you have a belief and you have a way of saying things. And then there's just no real dialogue and no real conversation going on. Uh, you're essentially trying to put one political party in a corner and there's no way of doing that. You can't you can't do checkmate. There's really no way. There's only a few arguments I can think of where it's just like there's really no point in arguing like one person really has the advantage, but uh, cuz cuz you know when I go on when I go on a web browser, you know, sometimes they show me recommended articles and this is a recommended article, but it's a stupid title. Uh, it says Tommy Lauren conservative firebrand bashes Obamacare when benefiting from it. Uh, now, let me just say, I, I don't want to get this from the perspective of, of, of from a conservative or from a liberal. I don't want to get into that perspective, but I want to tell you how stupid this title is. Because how many things can you think of where you can complain about something and at the same time get benefit from it? There are literally hundreds of things you can complain about and still get benefit from it. A, a, a great example is with this camera specifically, uh, I didn't realize there was a 10 minute limit on this camera and I had to sort of put a firmware update so that I could remove the 10 minute feature. I'm complaining about the camera, but I'm still benefiting from it. You can still benefit from things and complain about Look at this, this computer right here. I love this tower PC. But the problem is, uh, uh, I got it at a young age, so I pre-built it. I didn't, really like, I didn't feel like customizing it. So I can't really upgrade this, this computer. I'm complaining about it, but I'm still benefiting from it. This is how I make my videos. This is how I play my games. I love it. I play so many games on this. I, I, I edit so many videos on it. I love this computer. But I'm complaining about how pre-built it is. So with this title, yes, you can complain about things and still benefit from it. When you make titles like these, like you are not setting up a dialogue. You are simply trying to make yourself look good and to make the other side look bad. We need to stop putting titles like this. Why don't you make an article explaining what was talked about in this debate because Politicon happened and, and, and these two people were debating. Why don't you go into detail? Uh, like, look, I can even debunk uh, anyone. Even, even liberals could debunk uh, this argument. Let me see. Uh, let me see like where like the quote was where it's just like, oh, got him. Oh, checkmate right there. Uh, let me see. I forgot where it was. I didn't read this whole article. I just, because uh, I really don't care. It's just the title that really pissed me off. And for I think for good reason. Okay. So she says right here, uh, Luckily, I am 24, so I am still on my parents. So essentially, if you don't know about Obamacare, uh, with Obamacare, you are essentially allowed to be on your parents' insurance until you are 25, I believe. I believe that's what it is. And, you know, um, so yeah, it, you can be on your parents' insurance until you are 25. Uh, you can still criticize Obamacare, but still be glad that you are allowed to be on your parents' insurance. You can, why, why does it have to be like, oh, you either like it entirely or you hate it entirely. That is so stupid. And I feel like with, with articles like these, you are not setting up a proper dialogue. You are simply making yourself look good. I mean, even, the, look, look at this. Like, you might be saying to yourself, oh, maybe people in the comments are going to, you know, be productive. They're going to say very productive things, and they're going to have a dialogue. Uh, no, essentially not. So, uh, Mr. Brobefet, uh, a core principle of conservatism is hypocrisy. 
And uh, let me see. Like Trump, she delivers simple ideas. Uneducated voters don't understand her. Uh, again, people can have whatever opinions they want. They can have. They can upload whatever articles they want. That is fine. But please, like, let's have a amount of respect for the conversation of politics. Because if we want it to get better, we kind of have to up our, our quality, up our standards of conversation. And if Mr. Brobefet wants everyone to be, you know, a liberal, like, if he wants me to go on the side of being a liberal, he kind of has to be convincing me. And a core principle of conservative is hypocrisy. That's not really, con con that's not really convincing me on his, his arguments because he has no arguments whatsoever. He's essentially talking to people who talk like him. And, and I, I went through this, like, this was like the only like good comment I see, but this still didn't like argue the article in any way. It didn't really say anything. Um, oh my gosh. Like, like why, why give this child a stage? Who is she? Why does anyone watch or listen to Tom? Like, that is just not an argument. That is such a, so stupid. Like, talk about what they said in the, in the debate. Gosh, dang. They go... I don't know how long this debate was, but I'm sure it went on for an hour. Is that seriously all you got from that hour-long debate? Does does the Washington Post, like, know... Well, I guess, like, in journalism in, in, in general, do they not care about the details? Like, do they not care about, you know, really educating people? Because people who read stuff like this, they're not really being educated on anything. They're just being informed, not educated. There's a huge difference in those things. So, and again, I'm not coming at this from a perspective like I'm defending Tommy Lauren uh, in any way. I'm not talking about that. I'm simply talking about how Washington Post is trying to have a dialogue and they failed. They failed at having a decent dialogue, at least in my opinion. I, I, I don't know why uh, they couldn't go into more detail about the, about the event. I don't know why, out of that whole hour, all they got from it was uh, she bashes Obamacare while benefiting from it. And then me, within a second, like, I'm not going to say like debunking it, but like showing how that's a stupid thing to say, you know? Like... I don't know, like, oh, I, I hate this chair. This chair is oh, so uncomfortable. Huh? Well, I'm benefiting from the chair because I'm sitting in it. So, <laughs> it's such a stupid argument. It's so stupid. And they pay her. They pay the people who make these things. They pay them money. They get paid, son. They're paid for days. I don't know if they get paid a lot. I don't know if they get paid well, but they're being paid for this. Anyone can be a journal. Like this is showing me that anyone can be a journalist. Again, maybe I'm a maybe I'm looking too into this. Maybe I'm looking too into this. I I might be, but I feel like th I feel like I'm actually starting a dialogue. I feel like I'm doing a better job starting a dialogue with this video than the Washington Post does, and I don't even get paid to do this. I don't even get paid. So <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that was my little bit of ranting. Uh, I enjoyed it actually. I felt like. I felt like I got my message out there, and I got it a little bit... Sh I, I made this longer than it should have. I, I did. <laughs> but I, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I don't know. So, if, if I'm going to be... If I ever find other articles like this, I'm probably going to find articles like this, where it's just like... It's just super easy to just see why it's so stupid. And yet it has like 300 people commenting on it. Oh my gosh, like no wonder websites like these just like are not successful anymore. Like, it, I see it. I don't know. Like, but again, maybe I'm looking too deeply into this. I, I, I could be. I, I, I definitely could be. Uh, that's just really... I just... I, I just think the Washington Post is better than this. I really think they are. I think they have people who are qualified to sort of give more informed information on certain things that are going on in the United States. But I feel like the, the Washington Post as a business, their end goal is to just make money instead of really starting a dialogue. So I think that's what the problem here, at least from what I see. So... Uh, yeah, so I think with that said, you know, uh, take care, folks. Don't expect, don't expect to me to get for, for me to get political. I, I might from time to time, maybe, maybe, maybe from time to time, but I, I do not want to make it a regular thing because I'm in college, and trust me, I, I, 
I get enough stress from college. I, I don't want to be stressed out from politics, okay? So uh, take care, folks.